Hello, it's Rob, it's Small Urban Garden UK, and today, now we're in the middle of March, I'm going to plant my first seeds outdoors, not in the cold frame, not indoors, but straight out, see how it gets on with the weather, hopefully it's warm enough now, the first thing I'll plant is chives, and uh, it says you can grow them outdoors at this time of year, so we'll give them a go. Now, I'm going to grow them around the base of this apple tree that we've got in a pot here, uh, and the idea is uh, to make it look a bit nice around the base. And last year I grew nasturtium in here, and it didn't do very well. It got a lot of black fly on, so I think chives probably safe from black fly, probably reasonably safe from slugs. So I'm going to pop them in now. What I did last year was I created little pockets using sort of this black garden membrane that you can get from the garden centre, and uh, I made the little pockets. Uh, each uh, one contains a couple of nasturtiums so that the roots didn't grow down and disturb the apple tree. It was planted quite low in the pot, so I've just brought it up to the level. But what I've been careful to do is to make sure that the root stock round here near the graft is sloped inwards so that we don't get any moisture and rotting on the root graft itself. So up here, hopefully the chives will go down as deep as the garden membrane, which is a good few inches, and uh, we'll get a decent crop, and it should look quite nice for the flowers as well. Uh, I really like chives and salads and food uh, in general. Add it to lots of different things and the flowers look great. So all you do is paste a few seeds. I've got, I don't know, perhaps 20 or 30 there. And then I'm just going to sprinkle them around the outside here. Not too close to the middle. Try and get them evenly separated all the way around the container. Now, we don't want to put too many in there. We don't want it to get overwhelmed with uh, chives, and uh, we'll just leave it as it is, and hopefully that way we'll get a good crop without there being too much. Now, it's just to cover with a little bit of soil, so I'm just going to sprinkle lightly a bit of soil around onto the top and then I'm just going to sort of that stir it around gently and hopefully that'll get a good amount of the coverage that we're looking for over the top of the seed and I think that's done nicely and then what I'll do is I'll pop a bit of water on that and hopefully in a few weeks we'll have some germination and some chives. Be great for the food, great for the garden. Take care. See you later.